it should be a quicker process. I'm procrastinating writing, obviously. I'm loving life, you know? Super cute, it's a keeper. This is gonna be a writing vlog because I need to get some writing done. So in case you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Diane. I work in film and television as an on-set props person, that's my day job, but I'm also working on becoming a self-published author and I make videos about that and my writing journey, my life, and all that stuff here on YouTube and you're watching one of them, so subscribe if you like the vibe. I just realized you can see my pile of um, laundry that I need to iron later, it's fine, just... So I'm starting a new writing vlog today because I'm, I need to, here's the thing. So in my last vlog I talked about how I have to revise a chapter every two and a half days to make it to my deadline of July 16th. Now I do have wiggle room with that July 16th deadline because my actual official deadline is August 1st. That's when I'm sending my third draft to CPs. However, I don't want to dip too much into that extra little bit of wiggle room because I want as much time as possible to do another read through and go over it one more time. So I really need to kick it into gear because I have haven't been completing a chapter every two and a half days. But I have been making some progress and I did the math today and I have 21 chapters left to write and 42 days in which to write them. My very basic math skills tell me that that means I need to write one chapter every two days. By the way, today is Sunday, it's June 4th. It's, I like to think of Sunday as like the first day of the week, so it's the beginning of the week. Anyway, this morning I woke up at about 6.30 or so. I think I was out of bed and like doing stuff by 7.38. I had a live stream at 11 and I wanted to finish the chapter that I had started on the last live stream, chapter two of draft three of Ben. So I worked on that before the stream and I finished chapter two, feeling good about it, feeling better about it. It's not great, but it's better. And that's all I can ask for at this point. So I finished chapter two and then during the stream, I did some reading sprints, but then I also worked on chapter three of Ben. I would love to finish chapter three today. It's definitely a hefty chapter. It's chonky. It's a little bit under 11,000 words. It's like 10,800 something. So I know it will take me a little while. If I don't get it done today, that's okay. I'll get it done tomorrow, but I do ideally want to get it done today. I'd love to be able to finish a chapter day as, as often as possible so that I just, I want to give myself as much time to get this draft done and feel good about it before I give it to my CPs. So I'm definitely aiming to get at least a chapter a day as often as I can. If I can get this draft done before my deadline of July 16th, that'll be the quickest I've ever like finished a draft. I feel like in theory, because I'm not like adding, like I'm not like drafting too many new scenes I will be but not that many like in theory I, it should be a quicker process than like the zero draft or you know the second draft where I was adding a lot of stuff to it and I'm unemployed so it just it should be quicker you know I'm feeling and I'm feeling good about it I feel like it will I feel like it will be quicker but yeah that's what's going on in today's vlog that's my goal for today I'm gonna be doing some stuff around the house for a little bit and then I'm gonna get to some Ben work in the evening I've also got to do some secret project work because I need to get moving on that as well and I'm very excited to get moving on that okay Okay, time to do some house and admin things. Hi, today's Monday, it's June 5th. So last night I meant to finish chapter three of Ben, but I did not, okay. My head's been bothering me the last couple days and yesterday I just had a pretty bad headache. So I went to bed fairly early. I did do a little bit of Ben work on my phone while I was in bed, but it didn't last very long, I fell asleep. So I didn't finish reading my Stephen King book. I have like, I don't know, maybe 40 pages left. Like I'm so close. I just need like one more reading session and then I'm done. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. So far today, I've. I've I woke up nice and early. I took a shower. I did my hair. I got ready for the day. Right now I'm going to quickly go to my parents' house because my dad's not feeling very well and I have these like little vitamin C packet things for him to put in his water. So I'm just going to bring him some vitamin C packets that I have to see if it helps with his immune system and stuff. I'm going to do that and then when I get back I got to do some cleaning up because I didn't clean up from dinner yesterday. So I'm going to clean up but then, then I'm going to finish reading my book and do some Ben work. I also, ooh, I got to do some secret project work but I might do that a little bit later and and then also I got a lot of editing to do. Like video editing. I have some YouTube videos that I need to edit and there's still some that like I need to edit and then see what I still need to film stuff for. So yeah, that's um that's my plan today. Finish chapter three of Ben, finish reading my book, start a new one, live stream at six, work on secret project stuff and do a whole bunch of video editing. So that is my day today. Those are my plans. I'm also documenting the next, what is it, 42 days, 41 days on TikTok. I'm kind of doing like daily updates there um, regarding my draft three. So I got to do some content for 
TikTok as well today. I'm loving life, you know? Yesterday when I was leaving the grocery store, it was so sunny and nice. And it was like the middle of the day. And I'm just like, this is amazing. That like, I could just like, I could just go to the grocery store like whenever I want. Like it's just like, I can go to the grocery store in the middle of the day. That's amazing to me. And I felt very grateful that, you know, that this is the life that I'm living. I'm unemployed, you know? Um, I definitely need to worry about money. But for the most part, you know, like it's so good. I I'm, I'm doing my own work. Like I'm working for myself essentially. It's not making me money right now, but I am working for myself. And it just feels so good. Like this is, this is where I want to be, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna go see my dad and then I'm gonna come back and get started on the to-do list for today. So it's about, it's just after 2 p.m. My friend's gonna be here in a little bit, but I just quickly wanted to update. I've been working probably for the last like 30 minutes or so. I've been revising chapter three. I'm trying to get it done. I still have a very long way to go, but I'm feeling good about the changes that I'm making. Most of the changes so far have definitely been smaller scale. I mean, they're gonna be pretty small scale for this chapter. And when I say small scale, I mean like a couple dialogue tweaks and like changing things for clarity or changing things for continuity and stuff like that. I feel like the bigger scale things are like completely rewriting scenes or adding new scenes, but this chapter is definitely mostly dialogue tweaking because dialogue isn't great. It's not bad, but it's just I needed to add. So the main thing I did so far in this chunk that I just did was I added a few extra lines of dialogue to sort of help with um how do I explain it without like explaining it it's kind of to help with the believability I guess of like a certain thing that happens a little bit later it's hard to explain without actually saying what it is but um yeah I just added a few lines of dialogue to help with that and yeah we're just kind of going through slowly but steadily so one of my main goals for this draft other than actually just trying to get the story as as solid as possible and get the developmental stuff out of the way one of my main goals for this draft is to get it to 100k or less so basically I'm trying to cut a about 7,000, like just over 7,000 words. I think that's very possible. However, I'm gonna be adding and like changing scenes. So I don't know what the final word count is gonna be, but I am aiming to get it to 100K or less. So I'm currently sitting at 106,592 words. So I have cut a decent amount of words. It's probably, I probably cut about a thousand words so far, but um, still, you know, still a little ways to go. So I'm gonna keep working until my friend gets here. Then I'm gonna take a little break. We're gonna hang out and then it's back to work. I'm not really sure what happened just now It's all a blur from when you walked in, walked out I'm used to being on the ready But you got, you got me unsteady Driving home, going in circles with questions Something about you's got me pulled new directions I'm not used to second guessing but you got, you got me unsteady And now I can't stop thinking about you Trying to sleep but no pillow will do I'm running my mind over time I stay a wide as the moon Girl, you know I can't stop thinking about you Am I insane or you feeling it too? Wonder if I'm flying blind Your vibes got me high Hi, so today is Tuesday. It's May 6th. Oh my gosh, it's June 6th. We are doing a bunch of writing today. Today we are finishing chapter three of Ben. I want to be able to finish two chapters today, but I don't think that's gonna happen. It's fine. We are definitely finishing chapter three today. I'm about just under 5,000 words into the chapter. Like as far as the amount that I've revised, that's how far in we are. So, you know, a little less than halfway. I'm feeling really good about finishing chapter three today. I think I'm also, I might go ahead and revise chapter seven because it's another like pretty short chapter. So I might finish that one and then go to chapter four because chapter four and five, I'm definitely gonna need to do a lot more larger scale revisions for those chapters because I'm gonna be completely scrapping scenes and rewriting things. It's gonna be a lot. I'm basically gonna be zero drafting new scenes in those chapters. So I figured maybe get at least one more chapter done before I dive into those bigger edits. Reading update. I have officially finished Finders Keepers. Loved it. I finished it actually on the stream yesterday. If you don't know, I've been doing streams fairly often on my channel lately for the next couple weeks. That's what I'm gonna be doing. And I also picked my next Next read while on the stream as well. I used my TBR jar. And this is my next read. She is definitely chunky. It's Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King. It's 
Dusty. And Owen King. So Stephen King and his son decided let's write a book together and here it is. This is the monstrosity they've put out. So for reference, this book is like 525 pages. I started reading this book May 18th, 2022. I finished it June 5th, yesterday, 2023. So over a year. Now, to be fair, I like didn't read it for like months and months at a time. Still, took me a while. This is like 700 words. The goal I've set myself is to finish this book by the end of June. I know that that can be done if I dedicate time, okay? If I dedicate time to actually read every single day, I can get it done in that time. I believe in myself. How much time I'll be able to dedicate every day? I don't know. We'll see. I'm also, you know, trying to finish revising the third draft of a novel as well as working on other things that are going on. I'm also doing a lot of stuff in June. Like I'm going to a cottage for my cousin's birthday and stuff for a few days. So, I mean, I could probably get some good reading done in that time, but uh, yeah, there's like, you know, it's a little bit of a busy month. So we'll see, but my goal is to get it done by the end of June. I'm excited. It's actually really interesting. So I'm, I'm looking forward to um, reading this book. Well, I was on the stream yesterday. I mentioned how I don't, obviously I don't do reading vlogs on here. I do ha I technically filmed one reading vlog, which was my Outsiders reread vlog. I do, I do want to finish editing that and just like post it because I, I love that book and rereading it after so long was like special. Now I'm not good at reading vlogs. I don't know how to like review books and stuff. So it's not a good vlog, but I do want to post it because um, it's special. I love it. It's, uh, if you know me at all, that's like my favorite book. That's the, the book that made me want to be a writer. So Anyway, somebody on the stream yesterday mentioned how I should um, do like reading vlogs of like Stephen King books and stuff. And I was thinking after I read this one, I might do like rereads of like my favorite Stephen King books, especially like the Stephen King book, the special one, It. I might do a reread of that and do like a reading vlog of that. And then I might just do like occasional reading vlogs. I don't know yet because I'm not good at reading vlogs and I don't like, I definitely don't want to like rate or like, you know, review really books, but I, I'd like to do like just, you know, a, a sort of reaction and like a, a vlog of my experience of reading the book. So we'll see. That might be something that we look into. Also, I'm sorry if the mic is picking up my AC. It's just so hot in my apartment. Okay. I have this. I'm not a, you know, clothing channel. I don't really do hauls like that, but I have this package of clothing that I got and I'm excited to open it. So I might as well just open it on here because why not? Now the story with this, okay. I ordered this back in May. Um, it's from White Fox. I don't know if you can see it. It's from White Fox. I've never ordered from there, I don't think. And I've been like waiting for it to come, right? So now at the end of May, my parents were like, oh, um, I guess like a package came for you, but like nobody was home. So they left like a thing for you to go pick it up. And I was like, I didn't order anything to your house. So I went and checked the, the slip and like I had my name on it and everything. And then it was like, it said like the customs that I had to pay. And I was like, I have no idea what this is because I have not, like I have not sent anything to this house. Like I didn't order anything to my parents' address, like my old address. So I was like, I'm not picking this up. Like, I don't know what this is. I don't want it. And then today I was like, you know what? I'm still waiting on this package and like I checked the tracking and I think it said like it said like waiting for pickup or something so I said hold on and I double checked anyway long story short I actually did have it sent to their house I swear I had put in my condo's address but apparently not so all this time the package has been waiting for me and so I finally picked it up today and now I'm gonna um open it and see I got a sweater I got sweatpants I know I got two shirts we're gonna do a little haul it's gonna be very small I think I got maybe four things all together so Maybe I'll do like a try-on. I'll add some try-on clips. Oh my God, who is she? I'm procrastinating writing, obviously. Oh, this feels so comfy. I know it's summertime here currently, but I'm already thinking ahead because summer in, you know, in Canada is like four weeks. I'm thinking ahead to fall and winter. I didn't think it'd be this big, but I'm excited for it. Oh my gosh, what size did I get? This is a small medium. Yeah, it's meant to be like one of those um, big, <gasps> I'm excited. It's so soft. I'm very excited to try this on. I'm excited for you to see me in my awkward try on haul. We got some sweatpants. Sweatpants are so hit or miss for me. Like it needs to be a specific style or it just looks weird on me. So I'm hoping that these are cute as hell. This is looking pretty good. Oh, nice and baggy. I'm definitely in my oversized tee era. This is looking very promising. Can't wait to try it on. Now these. These looked so cute on the model. This one seems large. So I got this green top, little corset type top thing. I think I got like a size medium and I think the black one is a size small because I, I'm not sure. Many times I've like ordered things in small because I'm like, yeah, I'm a size small, but I need to remember that like I was a size small when I was 21 
and my body has changed a little bit, so I, my clothing needs to change in the size of my body. But then, you know when like you're buying from somewhere for the first time, like you don't know how their sizes run, so I also got it in a size small. I might need to return one of them, but yeah, it's just like a simple, it's just cute. It's just cute for the summer. So I'm gonna try these on and we'll see how it looks. So this is the size small, which feels about right. I feel like I could have sized down. I think the medium is gonna be a little too big. So we'll, we'll see. I think it's adorable, so. It's a keeper. I love the color of the green one, but it's just, it's like too loose up here, too loose. I can't decide if I wanna return it or if I wanna just wash it and put it in the dryer and see if it shrinks. Um, I haven't decided. Oversized tee, super cute, it's a keeper. I wanna show you the full, the full effect, I think. It's adorable. Okay, so the sweatpants are comfy and cute. So they're a keeper. I probably could have set this camera up a little bit better, but it's fine, I didn't want to have to move it. Okay, this sweater is so comfortable. It's so comfortable. It has this cute little saying too. And then if it gets hot, you know, I have the option to open it up. I just want to live in it. So all in all, I think a pretty successful first time shop at White Fox. I guess now would be a good time to talk about the sponsor of this video. I'm kidding. I know it's not, it's not sponsored by White Fox. Anyway, it's been fun. Now it's time to get to some writing, which is a different kind of fun. By the way, comment down below if you stayed through that whole haul and like try on clips and stuff. You're the true golden ones and I appreciate you. It's time guys. It is time. It's noon right now. I have a call with Hudson at Two. I think we're actually gonna be doing writing sprints then as well, but I'm basically gonna be spending the next two hours going between working on Ben and doing some video editing and my first little half hour sprint is gonna be chapter three of Ben. At the very least, I would love to finish this scene. I mean, I'm like halfway through this scene, so I should be able to finish that in the next hour. That's a weird little scene break. I'll have to take a closer look at that when I get there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get started on this scene and then see how things go. Okay, I'm gonna set my timer for a half hour and then I'll switch to some video editing because I've never had this much footage to edit. Like, it's just a lot. It's a lot. Here we go. Don't mind my case. I know, it's all janky. I need to get a new phone case. Apparently, I kind of like this scene because I got very little red marks in here. Look, oh, hello? That's what I get for leaning into the best one. Now I've got one more accent, two less hands here for holding. Ignored all of my reasons for running far from my feelings. Now I'm down on my knees and watching you as you're leaving. I just quickly wanted to document that I finished chapter three. See, I'm like physically exhausted. I'm feeling pretty good about my ability to make the changes that I need to make. I definitely feel, you know, a, l a little bit overwhelmed. I feel like there's, there's, 
there's a lot, there's still a long way to go. And I haven't even given this to CPs yet, so like I haven't heard any outside opinions about this story. So I might have even more than I think I need to do to get the story where it needs to be. But I don't know, I feel like I can do it. Like on the one side, because I'm, I'm just determined to do it and I feel like I can do it. But also I feel like just in terms of my skill set at the moment, like I feel like I can do it. And I'm very willing to keep learning and, and keep making the changes that I need to make. I'm feeling good. It's definitely feeling like I'm improving as a writer. And I love that. That's what I want. We'll see. I really, oh, I can't wait for CPs to read this. Should I just start giving them? No. No, I'll wait till August 1st. I'm really looking forward to sending this to CPs because it's, it's, it's gonna be the first time I've, I've done that in many years. I feel like getting feedback and being able to incorporate feedback into revisions and just being able to, you know, process feedback is such a skill. And that's a skill that I haven't honed really in any capacity, especially not in the recent years. So I'm a little bit afraid. I'm a little bit nervous, but I can do it. I'm also just really excited and really looking forward to um, kind of working on that part of uh, being a writer, you know? Anyway, I'm in pain. My neck hurts, my back hurts, my lower back hurts, my front hurts, my stomach hurts, my side hurts, my eyes hurt. I'm hurting a little bit, so I'm gonna take it easy for the rest of the night. It's about, it's like eight, I wanna say. It's almost eight. It's eight, it's 7.59 p.m. I am gonna clean up and then I'm basically just gonna hang out, watch a bit of TV and do some video editing tonight. I didn't get everything done that I wanted to on my to-do list, but finishing chapter three today really, first of all, it took a chunk of my day, but it just took a chunk of my energy. So I'm tired, but really happy. I'm really grateful to my friend Hudson who um, did a bunch of writing sprints with me. We just did a bunch of Pomodoro back to back. I think we did like eight back to back, so. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, it's June 7th. So as you would have seen yesterday, I did manage to finish chapter three of Ben. I'm definitely feeling good. I added in like bits of dialogue and stuff that I think helped. There's still work to be done with the conversation that's being had in that chapter, like the main conversation that's being had in that chapter. I think there's still a lot of finessing and, and stuff that needs to happen, but that, like I need the feedback from CPs. Like I, I, I just need somebody else to read it and, and give me their, their feedback and their opinion on it. So chapter three is done. I'm, I'm excited for chapter four and five. So chapters four and five are, I think I've mentioned this already, but they're like, that's where the bulk of like, changes are happening in terms of completely rewriting scenes like adding like I'm adding I'm bringing in like a character that at first was just like briefly mentioned now they're actually gonna like they're gonna show up in the story so I'm basically adding a new character I need to make a character profile for them I don't need to go too deep into it they're not like a, a huge character they're just um I'm, I'm kind of so the okay chapters four and five um right now are like the chapters just before kind Kind of the the moment when my main character decides to do something and right now they just don't feel like there's enough there like there just isn't enough so I'm attempting to add a bit a bit more tension and just like a little bit more um, depth to like what's going on with my main character and stuff like I'm just adding like a little bit more um, I was about to say spice <laughs> it's no spice it's not spicy I'm adding a little more flavor okay to to the to the soup it's a little bit bland like chapters four and five. I see what I'm trying to do, but it's just, it's not enough. So I'm going to make these changes. I don't even know yet. I basically, you know what I should do? I need to re-outline like chapters four and five. I need to read through them both again, see what needs to be changed, and then do like fix my outline because um, it, yeah, there's definitely larger scale changes being made. So I need to do that. That's likely what I'll be working on today, but mostly today I'm also just doing video editing and um, I got to do some secret project stuff. So that's my day today. It's about 9 30 i'm gonna eat my dude i've been like really loving this situation it's a rice cake i put tahini on it and then just a banana and then i just put a little bit of um hemp seeds and a little bit of maple syrup i've been loving this as a snack anyway i'm rambling now i'm gonna get to work let me know how you're doing let me know how your writing is going let me know what you're reading um oh reading update really quick uh this is i mentioned this already this is a new book and i am only i'm eight nine pages in we're gonna finish this book by the end of june okay we're doing it. But yeah, let me know how you're doing. Let me know how your writing is going. Let me know how your reading is going. What are you reading? What are you watching? Tell me all the things. Tell me. So thank you so much for watching. And if you got to the end of this video, comment down below. Stay gold because you are gold. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.